Hello and welcome to another exciting episode of Living with Sickle Cell by Lanky. I still remain your humble and your favorite host, Ogoji Nchedo Chuku, the Sickle Cell Warrior. Today, we will be discussing about how to manage relationships with sickle cell disease. Please, if you are a new subscriber, try to hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notification button for a new post when it drops. And then, if you are an old subscriber, please comment on the uh, comment section and tell us where you are watching so we can send you some love. Hold on and enjoy the video. <laughs> Welcome back. So, today, living with sickle cell disease comes with a great deal of challenges, including maintaining and keeping good, healthy relationships. Relationships with sickle cell disease are especially challenging because of the emotional toll the condition has on our well-being. Yes, sickle cell disease, being in a relationship is difficult because of the emotional tolls the uh, disease has caused in our well-being. So, as an SCD patient myself, I have gone through a lot of challenges in relationship wishing people never finds out about my genotype because it was and it is really embarrassing. But hey, believe me, there is nothing embarrassing about it. And here are some pointers to help you be in a meaningful relationship as a secular. Number one, be honest. Let your potential partner know about your sickle cell disease early enough so that they can decide whether they can cope with you because not everyone understands the meaning of being a sickle cell patient. Number two, be realistic in your expectations. Other people haven't had time to learn about and accept sickle cell disease disease excuse me and people will support you in the capacity they can and they choose to take it slow and give it time for people to better understand you and your needs number three be mindful often living with the challenges of sickle cell disease can make us treat even our loved ones poorly we have all been there. Try to mindful. Try to be mindful of how you are treating others, even during difficult times. Nobody is the cause of your, you know, problem. So really, be mindful on how you treat others. The next point is being grateful. Be grateful to people that you have in your life and never take them for granted at all. Never take them for granted. Every gesture, every gesture goes a long way. The next point also is finding a support system. Working with a provider and therapist is very important in managing relationship with sickle cell you may also consider joining a local group to be able to share and discuss with others who know exactly what you are experiencing. This really is a good pointer that everyone, I think everyone with SCD who is in a relationship to try and emulate. Join a local group where you guys sit together and discuss each problem. 
discuss one another's problem and how they handle it. This way, it will help you very well in your relationship. Thank you very much for joining me in today's video. I still remain Ogoji Nchedo Chiku, God's favorite son. See you in the next video. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.